Hello everyone and welcome to a new series we're going to be running on the channel for a while. This is Disciples Liberation, uh, which is a, a fantasy RPG with turn-based combat. It looks to be quite, quite interesting. It's set in the land of Nevendar and uh, there's, uh, there's quite a lot of gameplay here. It's been a while since we've done uh, a proper RPG. So we're going uh, to kick it off with a brand new game and uh, I think we're going to run it at hard difficulty. Now um, this is the deluxe edition so it's going to give me a couple of freebies at the start. I'm not planning on playing with them so I'm going to see if I can destroy them. Um, but the thing about hard is healing at the end of turn is removed and healing at the end of battle is reduced. So at the end of individual combats you get healing but also if you don't use your action points within a combat you heal up and I don't like that as a mechanic so so sticking with hard is going to work well for us. It is a time between times. For epochs, Nevendar's disciples have been victims of the winds of divinity. The people suffer. They fight. They die and are reborn to fight and die again. But the era of gods is ending. Their twin chains of chaos and cruelty will break. Fearing the dawn of this final age, the people turn to their gods once more. They find no answers. Fear becomes paranoia. Paranoia becomes rage. And rage brings war with it. But war cannot stop the liberation of Nevendar. Even now, its unlikely savior awakens to her fate. What she does next will shape the future of the world. Right, you return from your lookout to the sewers below the church of St. Darchild. Orion, your best friend, lay asleep. Were it not for his snoring, you'd think his motionless body dead. Wow, it is giving us a lot of stuff. I'm assuming that's all because of the, uh, the deluxe edition. Ori, you alright? What? Well, what? Oh, Abby. I, I thought you were a church guard. Yeah, if I was, you'd be dead. I don't know what's worse. Your snoring or this stench. How can you sleep down here? I, I can sleep and drink anywhere. It's a gift. What time is it? You think for a moment before continuing. Just past twilight. The priest's holy hands have gone, leaving three unaccounted for that I've seen. Right. Well, how are we going to do this? Okay, to summarise, uh, we're going to have dialogue choices as time goes on. There will be symbols next to those choices which indicate what the action is going to do. Ask a question, try and be romantic, stop the conversation and attack, uh, try and recruit the person, attempt to scorn, yell, intimidate or threaten, reason with, console, compliment, uh, or just be unpredictable or even lie. Choices can have a major impact on the story and the end of the game. There is no bad choices though, so... We can role play as we wish. Kill the priest, I mean. Uh, no witnesses. Kill everyone. We know the Church of Saint Darchild is always guarded, even at night. We have to go in and kill everyone. The contract didn't say anything about guards. If they see our faces, the Empire will hunt us and our families. Ori, we have to be thorough. Yeah, Ori's being a little bit too um, small-minded in this matter. You've known Orion long enough to know what he's really thinking, though. You seem nervous. We've done a lot of contracts, but killing's never easy. So, yes, I'm nervous. Aren't you? Uh, of course I'm nervous, but we're doing the right thing. Yeah, we're doing the right thing. The contract said this priest is as corrupt as they come. We're doing the people a favor. We're basically heroes. No, oh, yeah, that is definitely the mindset to be in this. That's right. So we go in there, take care of the priest, the guards, and any other witnesses. Then we get out. Simple as that. Nice and simple. Simple as that. Okay, so Orion, our companion. He, this is a ride or die right here. Calling Orion morally grey might be an understatement, but so would have calling him loyal. Growing up the youngest in his large loving family, it was hard for him to leave the lows. But stay would mean abandoning Avaya, which, which he'd never do. He made a pledge to get her out of trouble and into it, and it's a pledge he intends to honour until his dying breath. So we have our first mission, find a priest. Left click moves around. Um, 
I know we're in the sewers, but what is this stuff? I'm assuming that's talking about that. Over here we have our first combat. Now I've played just a tiny bit just to make sure that the game does actually run. Uh, so I've got an idea of what's going on. Uh, don't expect amazing tactical ability though. Pure. His eye sees all. I like that helmet design. That's really cool. Okay, uh, so going into a battle, we get to edit our forces, decide where they're going to be. I'm going to have everyone a little bit further forwards for this one. Looks like we're going to be able to get archers and potentially like a like eight, eight more people out. Wow, have a have a proper army by the end of it. Now, what we want to do when we uh, get in here uh, is try and get um, on either side of the enemy so that we can uh, get a flanking bonus on them. Uh, to explain, uh, our characters have got a number of pips above them. Uh, blue ones can be used for moving, red ones can be used for attacking or other actions. Yellow ones can be used for both. Uh, so Aviana has got one yellow, one blue, so that's one move and then one move or attack. And Orion has got two yellow. So we're going to go Feel the snake's bite. straight in with invisibility. And then I'd like to get it set up so that they have to come to us. I'll sneak past them. Let's go there like that. And I think we'll... Maybe I should have gone one space further, or one space less. Let's just wait there. We'll let them come in. We will be victorious. Now, passing your turn, glory and honor can have advantages. So, if we wait until the end of the initiative order while we're invisible, it means we can bring Viana down here and get the flanking bonus. You're mine. There will be no surrender. Breaking the line. Now, with the pips that are left over, uh, if you have um, a red pip left over at the end, oh damn, that's hurting lots. Uh, then you get a protected buff for the following turn. Hopefully, the bleeding is going to take this guy out. Do we trust it's going to take him out? I think we do. Now you see me. Let's come around here. Feel my blade fight. Yes, great. <laughs> so, as, as you can see, we we're, we're hurting a lot. We could use clearing strike, it'll deal physical damage and demoralize the target, or we can just slash them. And I think you're mine. Let's go for the big hit. I like that. And we're gonna we're gonna stay here. It'll make us a little bit faster for the following turn. I in fact no it won't. No it won't. Yellow ones give us plus two initiative at the end. It's alright, this guy's gonna die from two attacks anyway. Feel the snake fight! Wow, that was quite painful. So, off to a good start. We have 625 gold from that fight. Don't know what we're going to spend it on. Now the sewers clearly aren't as safe as we thought they'd be. We'll fight our way through, just like we planned. Yeah, just like we planned. So, we have a new spell, which I think is going to be a healing one. Let's um go in to... Viana. We can't do anything precisely with this, so I think we'll have to edit her stuff from a different screen. Ah, in the character screen, probably. Okay, so this is Aviana's inventory here. You can equip various spoils collected throughout the adventure. Now, as I said, it is giving us some stuff right at the start. I, I don't know if we can just destroy these, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ah, 
Hold right to dismantle. There we go. Let's do that. Because that way I won't be tempted to accidentally use them. Also, can I get rid of this? Cannot dismantle that. Fine. We'll just... We'll ignore the Sovereign Shard. And we'll get rid of the armor that it's given me as well. Okay. In the skill tree... Uh, the Deluxe Edition does give us uh, a couple of points to spend, so I think it's it's worth us putting those in. Um, this is not too much of a boost, because in the grand scheme of things, we're going to be levelling up quite quickly. Uh, so, increase base hit points by 5% and physical resistance by 5. That seems like a good idea. So it's splitting into combat, Nephilim and magic. What are we doing at the end? Plus one movement and damage taken from over effect abilities reduced by 15%. That's quite good. Always being corporeal. That's nice. I like looking at the uh, the end ones to see, you know, what the, the potential things are. Each time we're critically hit, we can hit back. Quite like the idea of... Ooh. We could push for regen. Pushing for regen seems like a really cool thing. That's also going to be really handy, though. Okay, we'll go for Flanking Master three times, and we've got one more point, so we'll... Oh, wait, I have to put five points into this before we do that. Okay. Um, I don't know what the best spells are. Let's, um, let's go for Divine Initiate. It'll probably be a while before we can actually utilise those kind of spells, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll find out what we can as we go along. What's in the spell book? So we can learn new spells by finding scrolls. Each spell scroll that you find allows you to research the associated spell later. Spells can only be used by Aviana. They're divided into four tiers, with tier four being the most powerful. Okay. So divine spells... Resurrect. Resurrect is the spell. Healing Chain is the spell. Mass Heal. Yeah, okay. Divine is definitely the way to be going. And we started off with Solonial's Mist. Rain down the water of life stream, healing 25% of an ally's maximum hit points. Okay. I mean, that in itself is, uh, is going to be pretty, pretty useful. Lots and lots of, uh, of stuff for us to find, though, as time goes on. I think that'll uh, that'll do for in here, at least. Uh, if we go to the units page, we should be able to have a look at Orion and see what he's got. So he can have daggers, and he could also have that sovereign char, but we're not going to give it to him. And he has natural abilities as well. I don't think we can edit these. Damn, we took a lot of a lot of health damage. So with the uh, the healing off at the end of uh, combat, we're probably going to struggle a little bit. But there are healing wells dotted around. So during that fight, some of your units lost hit points. Their health to replenish their health, you'll either need to use healing spells during combat or interact with a health fountain. So. One thing I always thought is, if there is healing abilities in combat, you should be able to use those abilities out of combat. That just seems like a natural, a normal thing to happen. That the lever didn't open up the gate that we were next to, so let's have a look. And, ah, it's opened up through here. Okay. Uh, as with all RPG-type things, I'm going to be 
exploring and trying to loot everything I can. Oh god. <laughs> and getting stuck right into another combat. So we've got a soldier and an arcanist. Okay. Let's uh let's give him a walloping. As before, we want to uh, try and make Fearless sure that we fight. double down on them. Looks like you're a little bit closer. So if I come to, like, here... I'll sneak past them. And then if we wait, he might come closer. Maybe waiting is a bad idea. Ow! Well, now I feel like we have to wait for... Oh, we can't... Can't wait again. Fine. Let's move. Come up and smack you in the face. You're done. Breaking the line. We make our stand here. So they don't have a flank on us, but uh, obviously this is not great. I'll sneak past them. You mess with Abby, you mess with me! Damn, that was a big hit. Wow. Face your death. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna... Moving. Let's come over to this side of him. It doesn't really make much On difference because he's he's just gonna attack us where he is. Now you see me. Okay. Feel my Get the flanks. Fight. We make our stand here. We should be able to take him out before he can do us any real damage. And actually, can I not cast that? Oh, because it's, yeah, it's, just, it's an action to do that. Feel the snake fight. Okay, well, we'll have to remember next time that we want to heal up. Another 625 gold. We'll stick that in the bank. So what are you going to do with your cut of the money? Build a home, something safe, something quiet. As long as we can still go to the pub. <laughs> yeah, we always go to the pub. Now, is there a map? Not that it looks like. This looks a little bit rank. But it's not damaging. What is Second Woken doing here? Oh, Undead Minions. Okay. Uh, we could fight them. There's a chest behind them, which I kind of want. Let's head back the other way first. In fact, let's, let's see if we can use that healing fountain again. The movement's not, uh, not slow, so it won't take us long just to step back out here and have a look. Uh, it was round this corner, wasn't it? No, it is gone. Okay. In that case, let's not engage another thing unless, like, we absolutely have to. It looks like that's kind of where we need to go. That just cuts through where we were before. So we probably need another lever to open that door. Well, there's a lever. And there's a chest. Doesn't feel at all like a trap. Is that actually a doorway? It looks like it is. So we have a new chain hood. Okay. It's... Yeah, it's equipped it already. Well, actually, no. It hadn't. We have two. 
Uh, on the unit screen. Yeah, you can't wear armor. So, I mean, it sucks to be you. That looks like it should be a secret. I mean, both of those look like it should be. I don't even know if there are secrets in this, other than, like, um, puzzle-based secrets. <laughs> Let's go around and fight the undead. Oh, the lever has opened up the way forwards. And we'll, uh, we'll see how hard they are. Must remember to to heal up. So actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can. Feel the snake's bite. You can go invisible and get yourself in. I'll sneak past them. A good position. And we'll get some regen going. Or oh, is that going to regen us for a couple of turns? If so, that's amazing. Oh yes, come closer. So I think we're going to want to wait. Yeah, it is. You're going to wait as well. Look at that. Perfect position. That's not cool, but... Oh, and it can go all the way across and get right. Fine. We'll... We'll try and beat them down as quickly as possible then. Feel the snake fight. Big hit. Feel my blade fight. I think we're getting good at this. So one of them gone. We've got that poison on us, which is very sucky. I don't think demoralize is really gonna do that much. This does do more damage. Yeah, wait where you are. Now you see me. Yeah, we'll just feel the snake fight. Just focus on the damage. Okay, that helped a bit. Stand down. Don't think we we want to get another spell off just yet. We could get more healing out just before we finish. Let's wait. Face your death. Get even more healing. Because our mana does come back, it seems like the sensible sensible move, and then we'll we'll get the stabs in. We could actually wait until next turn to get a little bit more healing, so... Feel the snake's bite. Let's do that. Wait, there's that little bit more healing. Okay. You're mine. I've, got, I've got a feeling for this. <laughs> 625 gold, well earned. And more experience. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Sword of the Lost Guard. So 
so it gives us extra hit points. That's all right. There's going to be lots of uh, gradual improvements like this, I suspect. Should probably find out what the uh, quick save key is. Okay, let's uh, try and move a little bit more carefully up here as we push into the church. Oh, there's a healing thing. I'll keep that available for us, I think. For after the fight. Who are you, Sebastian? How bad is this going to be? Sebastian, the old priest serving the church of St. Darchild, looks up from his work to you. He's sorting through children's clothing, all of it clean and well made, and marked to be sent to orphanages across the city. He's hardly the monster your contract made him out to be. Until he snarls at you, that is. The rat who's been crawling our sewers reveals herself. I'm <laughs> just a simple sewer cleaner. No. Let your guards go. I'll spare them. You know why I'm here. But your guards don't have to die. Let them go and I'll spare them. The rat shows me pity. You are unique. I'll give you that. The priest gestures to the shadows. His guards emerge. You are surrounded. Me, to what do I owe this assassination? Feeding these children? Nursing those displaced by the veil? Their young eyes will see much suffering in their lifetimes. Let them start by seeing yours. Surrounded, trapped. If ever there's a time to draw one sword, it's now. Ooh, that's a lot of guys. Okay, we've got to survive for three rounds. Well, that means we're going to be hitting the healing like it's a bottle. Every unit of your active squad can be placed on the back line or front line. Front line units use their front line abilities and can be controlled during their turn. However, they can be targeted and defeated. Back line units use their back line ability. They act automatically and cannot be targeted or defeated. If all your front line units are defeated, the fight is lost. Carefully choosing back line and front line is an essential part of battle strategy. Orb of Regen. Feel the snake's bite. I'll sneak past them. Die. <laughs> Move out. I will carve his sword on you. Holy Take inspiration. Wow. Father, guide my blade. The line must oh, it's break. motivating the others. Mounting an offense. Well, it's going to take them a while to get over to us, at least. Breaking the line. But uh, that's not cool. Right, let's let's wait. Let's also wait. Hi, Father. Shine a light. Okay, we have at least one target. His holy fury. <laughs> we will be victorious. Holding the line. Damn, that's gonna really, really hurt. Feel my blade fight. You mess with Abby, you mess with me. Okay, that's pretty good to start. You're done. I would love to have more spells to cast, Make but your stand here. Father, guide my blade. The flanking's not too bad over here. Feel the snake's fight! Oh, we've been taunted, so we don't get to focus on you. That sucks. 
Let's uh, let's wait where we are. You die today. I call on his holy fury. I think we've got enough health Holding to get through this. I will carve his sword on you. Feel his wrath. We make our stand here. Sorry. Ah, uh, something's wrong. Something's very wrong. Yeah, we're losing. Your vision blurs. A pain shoots through your right arm to your fingertips. So severe, it feels like your skin might burst apart. And then it does. Ah, uh, help me! From your flesh, darkness emerges like a swirling black pearl. In it, you see pure night, and the night sees you. A corona of molten light crackles forth from the pitch. Impossible! Stand back, fools! All of you, back! It's a portal! Go! Now! You and Orion leap through the sweltering heat into the void and are immediately swallowed whole. Behind you, the portal closes, leaving no trace other than the black scars on the stone floor and fear in the hearts of all. From the cosmic tear, you are hurtled bewilderingly forward. Never before had mortal feet touched this soil nor mortal eyes seen this ancient sight. Sprawling, ancient, longing to be rediscovered. Until now, this is your true home. This is your fate. Great, if this is ours, I guess we can retire. Ryan follows you as you approach the Forgotten City. At its gates, a word is carved in foreign glyphs. It reads, Yilian, which you know means City of Sacred Angels, though you've never been able to read such markings before. Abandoned and ancient. Uh, it could be Dwarven. Uh... Well, it's ours now. There hasn't been a dwarf alive since the ninth epoch. If it was theirs, it's ours now. But look at the stone. Dwarves didn't build like this. And these glyphs match the glyphs on my armor. How convenient. You're worried about your belt, Abby? You just ripped a hole in space. We're lost in some forgotten city. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's at least he's got the right perspective I'm on this. Sorry. I just haven't seen you do that since we were kids. It scared me. Oh, we've done it before. I know. I couldn't control it then, but this time was different. Ori, I can't shake the feeling. It was fate. The word lingers as you carry forward. Fate. Let's look around, but be on your guard. Just because this place looks abandoned doesn't mean it is. That's a fair point. Your mind races as you explore the landscape. Amongst the rubble, you see ghosts of marketplaces, forges, homes, and families. How incredible it must have been once. So we have to talk to Orion inside the castle. Welcome to the legendary city of Ilion, your home. You'll be able to make it your own and upgrade it during the journey across Nivandar. Right now, you have access to the castle and a building of each of the four factions. In the faction buildings, you can recruit units for your army once this is done. Go to the castle and speak to Orion to start your journey. Amazing! So, during the journey, we'll acquire blueprints. Each acquired blueprint allows us to construct buildings here. Each building construction will require specific resources and gold. Upgrading this place is essential as every building will grant powerful benefits. Key benefit is that new building will allow you to recruit new units. Okay. That seems straightforward. So we've got a stone ring, we've got the temple, we've got a graveyard, and we've got Heart of the Abyss. So these must be the faction ones. And then we've got two empty slots. And we don't have the blueprint for the marketplace or the blacksmith. So what do we want to go with? Temple? What can we recruit? We can recruit soldiers from here and then paladins and then priestesses and holy avengers. 
And then white dragons. Wow. Okay, how about the Heart of the Abyss? Possessed? Okay. Them berserkers. Ooh, I like the look of them. Infernal knights. Move lords. The graveyard, this is going to be skelebobs and zombies. Yeah. Death knights, bone golems, dracolites. Okay, pretty cool. And finally, the stone ring. Shadowcaster. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll start with the Shadowcaster. There's fewer things on this one, but it does this, it does appear to be more magical based. So a building in the city has produced a unit. You can find this unit at the squad management screen to have it join you in battle. You must add it to the active squad. That's fine. You know what? We'll uh, we'll also get a soldier. We got lots of money. Yeah, I'm assuming that he is as trained as he can be. I should probably be looking more at their stats than I am, but I figured because this is this is very new, we'll uh, we'll try one of each for now. Yeah, as as we level up the building, we'll be able to do more things. Okay, well, let's uh, go to the castle and see what it has. So the castle is the place for us to perform a variety of actions, talk with the companions, research new spells, reassign skills, gather resources from captured buildings in the world, and train the companions to increase their level. Okay, let's have a look and see if we can do any training. You've not gained enough experience to level up, so that's a no. Researching spells. Ooh. We'll definitely research these that we had the blueprints for. Summon lesser devil. One unit must be afflicted with confused or burning. And of course with the primal we've already got one of those. Okay, in terms of gathering resources, yeah we've got nothing coming in. And it costs us money to move our skills around, but it's good that we can do that. Alright, let's uh, have a chat with Orion. Weeks pass, you train tirelessly in the courtyards and under the pavilions, slowly honing your power. By night, you spend your restless hours exploring the castle grounds. One night, tonight, Orion follows you to the giant structure spiralling up from the rubble of this begotten land. Inside, you discover a great hall, enshrining a stone table. Upon it, a familiar sight. Look, a map of Nevandar. But if it's accurate... The city is at the centre of the world. How is it no one has found this place? You look down at the sprawling map of Nevandar, dreaming of what this old castle might have been, or what it could be. Hey Avi, back when we first got here, you said something that's been playing on my head every night. At the city gates, you said, it was fate. What's our fate? Hmm... I sound crazy, I know. But when that power was pulsing through me, it was like I could see this place, like it was drawing us here. It'd be nice to find a place that actually wants us for once. We've been scraping by, going from one low paying contract to the next. Now we're trapped here, we're almost out of food and water. Right, but you've been honing your power. Any day now you'll be able to control it and we'll get out of here. Or we stay. This could be the home we've always wanted. It needs a little work, but imagine it. 
Orion looks around you, inspecting the hall. Yes, he seems to say to himself as he places his hands on his hips. This will do nicely. Fine. Fine? Yes, fine. But the Empire is going to be looking for us. And they always find what they're looking for, even here. Then we hire protection, which means we're going to need allies. And money. And ale. Lots of ale. Hey, I was already sold. Where do we start? He points his attention to the map. With cunning, any of the denizens of Nevendal would make strong ally. But where do you start? Uh, ooh. What about, uh... Who do we trust in the Empire? We're enemies of the Empire by now, which means enemies of the Empire are suddenly our friends. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Castle Hale? Lair of the Mercenary King. Gates are open to all. If anyone wants to join our band, that's where they'd be. Okay, yeah, I've made my, my decision. I'll keep training my power when it's ready. We'll head for... So, Navidar's factions, Aviana and Orion start as a neutral faction, but as you progress, certain choices improve or worsen your standing with the different factions. The better your standing, the more benefits you reap. Your standing affects the units you can recruit, the equipment you can use, and the rewards you earn. It also impacts how certain denizens of Navidar react to you, and how your adventure will end. Choose your alliances wisely. Oh, we got a skill point and we're level two. So we can choose one of several places to head to. And I think that's uh, that's actually going to be a good point for us to finish, uh, finish off this episode. Uh, I think we'll be going to the Plains of Widows next time. So uh, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you are enjoying this. We're just getting started, of course, in Disciples Liberation. And it looks like there is plenty yet to come. If you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. See you soon.